just over a year now. A year and like a few months. I started January 2017, but there was a few months there where I was unable to upload. But now I'm no longer quote unquote a booktube newbie having had my channel for over a year. So I'm going to do the not a booktube newbie tag. This tag was originally created by a clever fox. That video is down below in the description as well as all of the questions. Question number one, how old is your channel? Well, I just said I started January 2017 and it is now early mid April. So a year and three months or so, a year and four months or so. What are your favorite videos to make? I really like making book talk videos and book discussion videos. My one problem with making those videos is a lot of the books I've been reading lately have not really inspired that much discussion. The two books that I've read most recently that I've wanted to talk about were My Lady Jane and Obsidio, both of which I've made videos on. But until those two, nothing I read really struck me as I need to talk about this book right now, oh my god. I'm hoping that 2018 is the year where I read a lot of books that give me a lot of things to talk about to share with you guys piece of advice that you would give to somebody thinking of joining booktube and this is going to be the same as pretty much anybody who makes this video and that is to just do it this has been the most welcoming positive friendly community on youtube that i've ever seen and i love getting to talk to and meet new people from it it's great i have friends who are recommending me new books friends that i get to recommend to new books too it's so fun but like with any community on youtube if you say something that is an unpopular opinion it cast record and you think he's a toxic terrible human being not that he's a bad character he's a well-developed character but that he's a horrible person you may get a little hate number four since joining booktube have you had any unforeseen issues yes when i started i wanted to make a lot of videos talking about books but like i said a lot of the books i had read previously had not really super inspired me to have a big discussion about them they were just they were good books but they were not fantastic books there was nothing really there to talk about i had some technical issues i film on my iphone and I found out that if you use your phone up against your face and you wear makeup that your makeup gets all up in your microphone and that's what led to that weird crackling noise that I had a while ago so there's that and I just had the regular issue that I think everybody gets of uh, fatigue and not really having anything to say there's really nothing to make a video on and then of course the standard life got really busy and I just didn't have time number five favorite book or series you've read because of booktube I have to give this to the Illuminae File series. If you watched my most recent video, you know that I am head over heels in love with this series. It's phenomenal and there's something in there for everybody. And I would not have picked it up if people on booktube had not been talking about it so much. The other book that I really love that I read because of booktube was My Lady Jane, which another previous video like two videos back i did a book talk on that telling you how much i loved that as well that's another thing that's kind of got something for everybody it's historical ish it's fiction it's fantasy it's got romance it's got comedy it, it, it's got conspiracy it's way fun a couple books that i picked up because of booktube that i didn't like so much are the night circus the six of crows duology the grisha trilogy maybe lee bardugo is just not for me i thought everything was fine i didn't think anything was phenomenal Overall, your favorite part of booktube is just the positive environment that it creates. Everybody is welcome on booktube. They're such an accepting community for anybody who wants to come and talk about books that they love, unless you hate Kaz Brecker. But I found out that even when I made a video saying, here are my unpopular opinions, I don't like The Great Gatsby, I don't like The Night Circus, The Aragon movie as a movie sucked-ish, but it was fine because I saw it when I was like 10 and I hadn't read the books, so whatever. And even when I said that I don't really like Kaz Brecker that much, even with your unpopular opinions there's somebody out there that agrees with you number seven want to spread some of the booktube love give a shout out to a newbie I'm gonna give this to Sue over at Sue Scribes she is probably my favorite new booktuber I ran across her in a Facebook group saw her booktube newbie tag she is a brand new newbie her personality and her videos is amazing and I love her and she's got chickens which is super cute so her link will be down below. Go check her out. She's lots of fun. And then number eight, who do you tag? I'm tagging my friend Lauren over at The Novel Lush. I'm tagging Alyssa over at A Court of Books and Pages. And I'm tagging Alex over at My Bookish World. Everybody's links that I talked about will be in the thingy below. With my first year of booktube, I've read a lot of good books, a lot of books that I thought were e, and a lot of books that I thought were blah. But this journey and meeting people and the community, I have loved and I can't wait 
to continue meeting people and reading books and talking about them and having fun with you guys. With all that said, all my social media links will be down below. I have Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Tumblr, Kick, all the things that you can reach me on. With all that said, let's read all the books and be best friends. Bye guys!